Hey, Mars. Get used to hearing that voice, man. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, I'm glaring. What? Too busy to visit your fan? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. I'll hit you back. Even if it's alive. Heels off. I'll get you. Works. Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit. Before someone calls the cops on them. I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and. He always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh man, I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. At least I can still wiggle my toes. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You wanna do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. about some shady characters selling bad fu- Yo, wait a second! Spider's here! Call the boy! He ain't losing this kidney! There he is!
Lost five big ones in the game last night. <laughs> Look at me now, Ma. Some guns and fucks. I wasn't this Two cups of gunpowder seems right for these. Screw it. I'm not making fireworks for babies. Five cups. Spider-Man's going down! Hey guys! I just wanted to warn you about some shady characters selling bad f Yo, wait a second! Characters selling bad. Yo, yeah, wait a second. Fire's here. Call the boy. He ain't losing this shipment.
bags of gunpowder seems right for these. Uh, screw it. I'm not making fireworks for babies. Five cups. You, uh, you don't look great. Spider-Man's here! Watch your back! Thanks for your cooperation. Check the ceiling. He's here somewhere. That's no creature in that tear. This is your last day as a spider. Gonna go down. Something wrong over there. Hey guys, I just wanted to warn you about some shady characters selling bad. Yo, wait a second. My favorite. Birthday, Lex. Is that you? Oh man. I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Hey Unc. Sorry. Kinda busy. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. to the Danacast, get this, now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. I'm coming for the crown. 
For you new listeners, welcome. The Danacast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this train worker, Dennis, who single-handedly kept the trains running during the Sandman attack? Main track control booth got cut off by a power failure, and he had to patch in from his cell phone on a hotspot to keep the lines up. Thousands of people got evacuated to Queens and Brooklyn thanks to him. Dennis, we at the Danacast salute you. Keep doing what you're doing. swerving all over the place. Wait a minute! Drive! Drive! Is there a street race I don't know about? guys. We really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... Hey, Miles. That Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude could turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. 
So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Sweet. I can't pull it open from down here. a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Yo, this is next level, man. Hit this whole room in plain sight. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this.
this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. The coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. Y... ¿Cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. <laughs> Stop laughing, I'm serious. Well, uh, I'll be around. Oh yeah, I can just feel how high the rent prices are here. That's good. For the rink to freeze over. The kids are finally old enough to skate. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. But saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. Miles? Club there, remember? You on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best... One sec. We have to get Spider-Man! That guy's getting up in those people's faces. I'm there. Hard him! Woo! I told you we'd take him down. We're ending this now! I'm back, Yankee. Go ahead. Club fair, remember? You on your way? All right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. <laughs> hey Pete, you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. So many puns, and I don't even know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> Now 
to see what's inside the crystal. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco made a lot of enemies. I wonder if they finally caught up to him. Okay, MJ, crisis averted. Like I was saying, Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Hey, need a dance partner? I've been waiting. It's for the play. Need the Come on, man. Now, Get up. Can we burn him? Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. I'm back. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Some jerks are trying to break into that building. Why do you get the take point? Hey, Spider Man's going down! You guys need help with that? You're not gonna win if you're stuck. I'm gonna shoot him! Day's work for a neighborly Spider-Man. Stolen tech. Off the streets it goes. I was wondering what this place was. <gasps> A 
That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, I just checked in on Dan and Annie. The Here, follow me. Really apprehensive data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? <laughs> you must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Coming for you, bee wolf. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep! Oh, yeah! This is a reminder that Dr. Kong's working group will be getting Bee Patrol on duty. Here. Hear that, little bee wolves? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Gotta protect the hive. Nice. Gotcha. Wow. Come get. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. 
I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. <laughs> 